Hi everybody, I'm here today to show you my way of making um, enamel dots and as you can see I have some right here. This is just on wax paper and as you can see it's like shrinking the wax paper around it. But first I wanted to show you what I used. So, the first, um, well not the first one, but this one right here is this tulip glow in the dark one. And the, this is dimensional fabric paint in the color gray and it glows in the dark. And then for these four, um, I used this one that I'm sure you guys saw in my haul, if you guys watched my haul. And this is Tulip brand as well. Let me show you. The Tulips brand, and this is called Beads in a Bottle. And if you look right here, it says self-rounding, dries hard, side view, and there's a picture of it, and you can see it. And these are the colors I got, a green, a glittery pink, glittery purple, and a glittery green. And back to this, um, I did, all of these are pretty rounded. They did um, even themselves out. Um, these ones I just kind of did as, as a test, so I didn't really take my time and make sure that everything was good or anything like that. They were just real quick. And then this one though, the glow in the dark one, is it doesn't say self rounding or self leveling or anything like that. So you can tell um, there are some points to these over here. Um, and then I also did some designs just to see, but as you can see, this green one cracked. This purple one has a crack right here. And these, this one got so skinny right here, there's cracks all in there. This one had a bubble right there, and it popped. <laughs> this one's the only one that came out semi-good. I think I would have to make it thicker if I wanted to use these for designs besides just the dots. And then this one, um, yeah, as you can see, I just popped one off. So, um, definitely wouldn't be using it for designs or anything like that unless I do it really thick. And these have, um... These actually have been sitting here for about five hours, so they are completely dry. This one still seems a little soft, but these ones are completely hard and ready to be picked up. So I just want to show you, I'm just taking my nail and, oh, ran away, but it just pops up very easily and let me see. I don't know if that's going to really like focus. But there it is. It is rounded. Oh, look, oh, it's not going to stay on my fingers. It is rounded. Let's see if I can get it to focus again. Let's see? So it did level itself out. And. These ones all did too. I don't feel any pokies on the tops of any of them. This one, yes, but there was a bubble like right here in the corner. So it popped and it made a, a pokey top. But these are all smooth. And like I said, this one's not self-leveling as far as what the bottle says. So these ones are a little pokey. But they are good. So, and... I don't know if you saw, if you watched my haul, you did see that I got both of these on sale. And so I'm going to pick, go pick up some more colors and test it out. This was my very first time doing these for enamel dots. So I will be doing some more and testing them out, bigger size and everything. I haven't tried gluing them down on anything yet. 
but um, they are hard so I mean and if you don't even want to do it on the wax paper if you just want to do it on the paper I'm pretty sure that will work as well but I don't know um, like doing it on the paper like on your project or whatever it, if you make a mistake though I don't know how well it would clean off so that's why I did it on these first and then if like these are all messed up they're not on any project I could just throw them away but for putting it on a project I don't know I may do that at another time but at this point I didn't because I didn't oh well, well that ripped so I don't know if you can see it's upside down too but that ripped <laughs> but anyway so if you guys want to try these out go oh, I would suggest going and buying them and trying them out you can do lots of different sizes I did this one super tiny to show you but um, like I said these are these ones are still a little soft so I'm not sure if they're fully dry and but there you go hope you guys have fun making your own your own enamel dots and I'll see you next time